Hello, hello, hello. So, we, yeah, we have um, done about four miles, maybe. What time is it? It's nine, two hours. Maybe five miles. Um, the weather has been grim, to say the least. That's why I've not got the camera out. Um, we're a bit lower now, and it's a bit nicer. We're approaching Glen Nevis Forest. We've done the last climb of the day, which was just up there where that rock is. 260 metres. Descending into Glen Nevis Forest, the base of Ben Nevis. And then we've got maybe three and a half miles to skirt around into Fort William. And we're done. Getting a bit warm now, we've got about four layers on. Because it was drizzling earlier. But I can't be bothered at this stage to get my pack off and remove its waterproof cover. And Take all my gear off, pack it away. So I'm just gonna stay as I am. Unless it gets unbearably warm. This water breathes really well actually, I kind of feel like I'm sweating. I'm just hot. So yeah. more to tell you really. We should, when we get to um, Glen Nevis Forest, have the weather been better, have a straight line view of Glen Nevis. But that ain't happening today, I can tell you. It's a grim up there. Good luck to anybody who's climbing it today. We thought about climbing it tomorrow, but to be honest, I think we're just going to skip that. Um, I think we could do it, I don't think we can. That burnt out. But the main reason for going up there would be a decent, a decent view and to take some pictures. Well, it's clagged out like that. It seems a bit pointless, we'll come back another day when it's nicer. It's not the last time we'll be up here, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, it will feature annually, if not several times annually. Or maybe come up in the summer. We we'll have exploring north of Fort William and climb it while we're up here. Cool, right, okay, okay. Well, that's a brief update. I shall bring you back a bit closer to the end. Cheers, that's at half an hour. The entrance to Glen Nevis Forest. Delightful sound of the water running down here. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice. Look at this. Cloud moving across. Roughly at our level. We're only about 230 metres. It's really low today. It's so atmospheric. Look at it up there. Some ways better than when it's clear, I think. Amazing views. Joe steam the head now, look. No sticks. Finish line in the sight. Right, shall see you shortly. Hello again. Still in Glen Nevis Forest. 
Now, I wasn't expecting this to be honest. I would not underestimate this last day. See the path up there. There's a lot of undulation. So although there's no big climbs, you're up 40 metres, down 40 metres, up 50 metres, down 50 metres, up 30 metres, down 30 metres. You know, it's all very undulating. Um, really glad that we pushed on from Kinloch leaving last night and got to those ruins because we'd have been uh, faced with a pretty horrendous climb out of Kinloch leaving. Morning legs, not warmed up. A good three mile before the ruins and then this. So if you're planning to do this, I would get as far out of Kinloch leaving as you can and leave as little to do on this day. So I say it's not it's not terrible but it's just I'm a bit monotonous. You get to the top and you're like, oh so you can see the path as well. Oh, there we go, up another hill. You get to the top of that one and oh, you, you can see you going down to go up. Um, yeah, we're, we're cracking on. Four and a half miles to go, total. Um, be nice if we could do it by 11.30am. I think we set off last Saturday at pretty much 12pm. I'll have to check the video to be honest. But that would almost make it eight days to the hour which is what we set out to do yeah cool right I'll probably bring you back when we get up and over there see you in a bit another climb done up to 240 meters you can see the path going sort of down there and up. So that's where we've come from. And then right round that hill. A couple of people over there catching us up. Right then, onwards and upwards. See you again in a bit. That's a good sign. 4,351 metres climbed in the week. Uh, I don't think that's far off base camp to summit on Everest. I think. Is that about 5,000? Um, and a cent remaining, zero metres. We are at the final summit. 270 metres. We've done 98.17 miles. The whole route's supposed to be 98. No, 96 and a half. So we've done more than the full route. Don't quite know why. GPS accuracy probably. Uh, we've got four miles to go. I think all of it pretty much Dune Hill. Town way that way, Braveheart Car Park that way. Should we just have a uh, quick map check? We don't want to be going downhill to come uphill <laughs> and going wrong at this last minute. No, it looks like it here, Braveheart Car Park. Sounds about right to me. It's a ziggy zaggy our way down. Excellent. Well, 
we're on Levy Sea in bottom to Rafa for now. Hello again. <laughs> we ain't come far from the top to be honest, but I should put the camera back on. Um, that over there would be Ben Nevis. Oh, it would actually be up there somewhere. I think you can just see if I get my finger from them trees uh, running up here towards that. Those trees there. I think that's the tourist path up Ben Nevis. And way off in the distance, maybe not even visible on the camera, is Fort William. So, uh, yeah, the end is definitely in sight. Jojo's put the sticks away. He's feeling really yeah, <laughs> nearly first time off trip. But they probably made your feet survive, to be honest. Cool, right. I'll leave you be, and uh, I don't know whether I'll video anything else now. It's probably not going to be a great deal to video. It's just a descent into town, and then I'll maybe see you at the pub. If you're around. Here we are again. Next signpost. Uh, Brave Heart Car Park. Yep. And I'll just leave you hanging for a moment or two. I go to say, but we are about to click over 100 miles. 99.95. Let's see where. The hundred mile point is. Ninety nine point nine six. Look at that big rock. Eight. Oh. Six and a half, yeah, a whole lot. A I am a mild fibber, or well, something's a mild fibber. Timer. Moving time: forty hours, twenty-one minutes. hundred miles, two and a half miles an hour. I don't think that's too bad considering the terrain. Three mile an hour on the pavement is a decent speed. So we're out of the forest and on the road section, which I think it's road section now all the way into Fort William. Just having a quick break. Jojo's going to change into a dancing pumps <laughs> for the final slog. I think the boots are just finally too much. She reckons she's going to put four mile an hour in now. She's got a Crocs on. I'll not be able to keep up. Oh, it's like heaven. Beautiful. I bet there's not many people across the line in Crocs. No. Where are you going to put your buoys? Hmm? Where are you putting your buoys? I'm going to carry them because I'm going to put my sticks away. Jobs are good, then.
we were originally going to park our car up there at that farm. I see a few in the back, I think. Um, we wanted £50 for the week or eight days. And then last minute, I found it was free at the railway station in Fort William. So I ditched that idea and just left it there. I'll pull that out, you go. You get that. There we go, there we go. Good, good, good. Oh, it's got a hole in my glove. Oh. Have I done that? They're not even that old. Oh, oh right, oh, I can't keep up now. We'll see you, I think, at the original end of the West Island Way. See you in a bit. So, we made it. Fort William Centre. The original end of the West Island Way. Touch the sign. Give it a hug. Whatever you want to do. Yeah! Done. I don't think we'll be purchasing a certificate. I think... We know we we've done it. it. Yeah, we've documented it. I don't think anyone knew about that we've done it. So, we now just need to find the new finish line, because having one finish line is not enough. It's about a mile, so we'll see you there. Nearly there now, passing the station. That's where we started last Saturday. Thankfully, the car is still in the car park. It's not been towed because I've missed some silly little sign saying we couldn't park there. Um, certainly on the back wheel and the front wheel on the driver's side, there's no clamps. <laughs> Can't see the windscreen, but I think we're all right. So, um, I think we'll be that way. that way. Yeah, I think so. Oh, local constab. Yeah. And I think we'll go this way. Tesco Express, it's looking like a high street, isn't it? Alexandra Hotel. Uh, in the back of the car over there, we have a cool box full of fizzy drinks, full of sugar, beer, cider. There's a barbecue in the foot well ready to light up. I just need to go to Morrison's and uh, buy some provisions. But first, let's get this out of the way. Here we go, brown sign. West Highland Way. Close now, Jojo. That's that. Right, I'm going to put you away again for a minute. Don't know how far it is down here. So I'll just bring you back a bit closer to the end just to see the town centre, really, if you've never seen it. It's Fort William. Nickel and Dime. Nickel and Dime shop. An American title, isn't it? Hardware store, bar, restaurant, oh, a La Mountain warehouse. Know where these people are going, trying to hitchhike. Can you sell one? Huh? Gonna get some new sticks. Come back and have a look later. Put your boots on there. Used. But good. What else we got? Plenty of places to eat. Down the Dallas, Sports Direct. Is it? 
There's a good a gendarme uh, presence in our street. Oh, smash my watch. That's the cinema. I thought it was here. I thought this was it. But it's not. Must be the next one. It looks very similar with that building set back, but I thought for a second that was it and Spoonies had shut down and changed hands. I was going to cry. Highland liquor, that's where we need to be. You can't beat a Highland liquor. <laughs> I've got to come out with a crude joke then, but I'm not going to do. Second and Books. Ravari McIntyre. God, it's a fair way down there, isn't it? Lock Limmy through there. Some poles in the window. Is it before or after the travel lodge? Everybody knows. The tavern. We could do a pretty good uh, pub crawl down here, I think. Have they been nervous? I see the weather spoons fine, look, just below the travel lodge. I'd have held your hand over the line, but you got your boots. Hey, the other hand's free. Cross the line together. Barbecue. No, I can smell. What? <laughs> Pepperoni <laughs> pizza, chicken nuggets, oh, chicken goujons, chips. And a pint. And a pint. There we go. Here we go. We are here. Oh, what's the sight? We've done it, Jojo. We've done it. I didn't know we could do it. Could have touched the sign. Ah. Ah. Done. And there he is. Oh, I'm not. Somebody's already sat here. We'll take a still photo off this. All right, mate, how's the feet? Better than mine, I hope. Stop the watch. That's it. Oh no, it's unlock it. Oh no, that's the wrong button. Oh, we're locked, unlock. Stopped, 102.9 miles. Save. Done. See you in the pub. So that's it. We're done. We're done. Second pint in. Beaten. Had some chicken. Had some chicken. Loaded chipples. Chipples with bacon and cheese. Oh, it's been nice. Can't have too many more. We can't really have any more. So we've got to go and drive to the campsite. And then we can get absolutely smashed. <laughs> Can we have fluffy? Ah, yeah, we've, we've got a double double sleeping bag in the back of the car as well. We can use that for a change. And proper pillars. 
and trainers and tracky bottoms. Clean, oh, clean clothes. Clean clothes. It's going to be amazing. Anyway, I guess that's it. That's the end of the journey. We're done. Over and out.